Hello, I'm back again uh, with my fresh cut Christmas tree design and I would like to demonstrate painting wet on wet. So once again I'm using uh, Royal Langnickels number no. 2 Filbert and I'm going to paint these tires wet on wet. I'm going to start with Payne's Grey. I'm going to work on this little back tire first. So this is my base coat color. So it's Payne's Gray, and while it's wet, I'm just going to wipe my paper towel, um, pinch wipe it to remove the excess paint, pick up a little bit of lamp black, and apply it where I would like to shade. Wipe my brush, and then just blend what's on my painting surface. So I'm just blending in a gentle uh, patting motion. And then the front of the tire, I'm going to apply a little bit of charcoal gray. And then while that's wet, I'm just going to pinch wipe my brush, pick up a little bit of light buttermilk, just to brighten and blend that through. So again, just wipe my brush. That will remove any excess paint and allow me to just go back in and blend what's on my painting surface. So there's the back tire. When you paint wet on wet, um, paint little sections at a time so that your paint stays wet while you blend. So now I'll paint the front of this tire. So again I'm back into the Payne's Gray. This one sits down a little further than the back tire. So while that's wet, pinch wipe my brush, pick up a little bit of lamp black, apply it in the darker areas where you want to have it shaded. At any time you cannot blend your colors, just wipe your brush so that it's pretty much paint free and then that will allow you just to go back in and blend what's on your painting surface. So wipe my brush, pick up a little bit of charcoal gray, blend it through and then a tiny bit of the light buttermilk for my highlight and blend. Again wipe my brush so my, my uh, brush is pretty much paint free which will allow me to go back in and blend. So this is a great way to base coat as well. It gives you a nice little uh, visual to start with and then when you're finished, if you want, you can always go back in and add a little bit more color. I'm going to pick up just a tiny little bit of black and just clean up this edge here just to separate those two tires a little bit more. So I'll continue on and, and paint the rest of my tire.